Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp Console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create our own custom spinners for when our users are waiting on something. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So we know about spinners, we've seen them before, but let's just pull one back up. So ANSI console dot status, and we're going to say dot spinner, and we will say um, spinner dot known dot, and then choose, we've chosen aesthetic before, but let's just choose aesthetic. And that will give us something that, to spin, and we'll say start, and we will say um, loading and then we'll pass in our context and in here we'll just say thread dot sleep and we'll sleep for a long time let's go 10 seconds that way we can see the spinner actually spinning and if we do that then we'll see our um, aesthetic spinner spinning away while we're waiting for this to complete. And that's going to take 10 seconds to do, and then it will go away. So we'll wait for the first time. We'll keep waiting for it. OK, let's create a custom spinner. So instead of one of these known spinners, let's create our own custom one. To do that, I'm going to create a new file. Let's call this um, uh, test spinner. And in here, let's get rid of all of the things we don't need, make it public. And we're going to add a, um, we're going to inherit from an abstract class called spinner. And we'll control dot to add that using directive at the top. But now we need to implement all these things. To do that, we're going to say implement abstract class. And there we go. Now, these are all get only properties, which means we can just use the fat arrow, if I do it right, and return, in this case, time span dot from milliseconds, from milliseconds, and let's do 200 milliseconds. That's going to be per um, iteration or per, per frame of our spinner. So it's a pretty fast. We're going to do five frames per second. We could speed that up if you wanted to, but that's pretty good in order to give us something we can visually see easily. Now, next up is, is this going to use Unicode characters? That's important because if we run this using the, the run key here in Visual Studio, well, what's going to happen is it's not going to display Unicode characters. The, um, the, the console that and the shell that this runs doesn't handle Unicode characters. But if we use terminal, then it will use will display Unicode. So we're going to say false. We're not going to go crazy here. We're going to use um, no Unicode in our, our frame list. OK, so for frames, let's do our arrow here. And I'm going to put on a new line. That way it's not, um, it's not uh, scrolling too far. But what we have here is just a bunch of strings. So we can, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to say uh, large O or capital O, then four lowercase O's. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste. Actually, let's, let's copy and paste it all lowercase O's. That way it's easier. Um, I'm going to do five of these. So three, four, and five. So now I can replace one O in each one at a different spot. So as you can see, this is the frame you're going to look like. We're going to start with the big um, O on the left, and it's going to start moving over until it's on the right. And it's going to start over at the beginning again. We could add more frames to have it go back the other direction if we would prefer to do that. But that's it. That's all we have to do for um, our test spinner class. So now we can come back over here, and instead of spinner, we can do is say new test spinner. So that's the only change we're going to make. We're going to come back over here. We're going to run this. And now there is our new spinner in action. 
So you can do lots of cool things. You could change emojis if you wanted to use Unicode. Um, you could have, you know, different emojis um, as, it, as it changes. In fact, I think I said the weather, um, the weather uh, spinner does use something like that. But that's all you need to do in order to create your own custom spinner is just create as many frames as you want. Just remember that too many frames and too slow means they probably won't see the end frames unless there's a very long running process. Um, but the time is at Unicode and then the frames create that in your own class and then go ahead and use that in your application in place of one of the known spinners. Okay, that's it. Remember, there's a source code down below in the description. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.